Hello, Collective. Welcome back. Welcome to Majestic Notion. So I felt like doing a reading about how are people viewing you at this time. I was being drawn to that. Um, there could be people watching you at this time, kind of analyzing you right now. Almost like picking you apart. Um, I'm feeling like this is more than one person. This could be like, maybe somebody is like crushing on you or you could have a few admirers and they're maybe starting to talk to their friends like showing your pictures to their friends or like look at this person like wow this person is attractive or like then they start to like look at your I don't know I feel somebody like really analyzing your they want to know more about who you are so they're looking at your social profile for those of you who have a profile online or social media tiktok instagram facebook not sure if you know this person or not i feel like some people you do know some people are wondering you know what's been going on with you some people see like a change in you um those who know you or have or know you know a little bit of you so this feels like past present and future people I don't know, your your account is getting activity and you may not even, like, realize that. But they are picking you apart. And, of course, there's going to be, like, I feel there's an intrigue. There's a air of intrigue that's surrounding you. And, of course, you got the haters <laughs> watching you, too, to see what you're coming up with next. It, these haters don't really understand you. All they can do is guess. But if you got haters, it's because you're doing something right. So, but mainly I'm getting, there's like a few people I feel looking at your profile, you know, analyzing what you would be like. Like they can kind of get a gist of it, but then they're wondering because there's a certain era of mystery too. So let's get into it. Let's see, you know, what are people looking at here what are they analyzing when it comes to you how do they see you view you at this time and maybe who these people might be all right so let's see collective please hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't welcome aboard to all of you and thank you so much for your beautiful wonderful comments and all of your love and support always and your donations i appreciate them all thank you and let's see what we got she who stands, resolute, implacable, and determined. So they see you as someone that stands up. I'm hearing get up, stand up, stand up for your right. <laughs> get up, stand up, don't give up the fight. <laughs> so it's she or he who stands. So they see you, whether you're male or female, as somebody who speaks your truth. You stand up for your beliefs. And you stand up for others, I feel. You, you want others to, maybe you encourage others to speak their truth, to be authentic. Okay? So, whatever they're seeing here, they're, they're noticing that you are very true to who you are and you are very connected to what it is you have to say. Okay? So, they may see you as a little bit bold, daring, okay? Outspoken. For your old friends, they might have never seen this side of you. So they may be wondering, what is this? Some some people, the haters, might be wondering, is this fake? Like, what's going on with this person? Now they're all of a sudden into this, that, and third. Um, and for some of you, it's because you went through some changes. You're not going to remain the same. <laughs> okay? I, I hate this notion that people have that are remaining stuck in a specific way of being thinking or environment and they feel like everybody's always meant to stay stuck in that way some people just grow evolve um, and change their life around okay this could be simply by maybe you used to drink you don't drink anymore maybe you used to smoke you don't smoke anymore maybe you know you were a wild child and now you're not now you're calm cool and collected you know maybe you were religious at some point now you're a little more open-minded and spiritual it could be anything or maybe you weren't religious and now you're religious um this could be many things here maybe now you're woke awakened you've gone through some sort of huge change and transformation and now you're different maybe some of you had some plastic surgery and you don't look the same 
Okay, whatever this is, you're standing in your truth and uh, you're letting it be known and be shown. That's what I'm seeing. Okay, maybe some of you were, I'm hearing slanky back in the day. This could be for the guys or the, or the females. And now all of a sudden you're built, looking damn good. You're taking care of yourself, eating right. And your attitude has changed. You're more positive, optimistic. You're, you're, you're more into self-care, as perhaps maybe you weren't in the past. And there's new people noticing, you know, what they see now because they don't know, you know, they can't judge you for who you were. They see what it is at this moment. And what you are in this very moment is the truth, is your true self. You've awakened a different side of you. You're getting in touch with a different tune, a different part of who you are. And it's shining through. Okay. Ice queen. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like the people that see you cold is the haters that you trigger. Okay? That That's what I see. Now, some people may see you as somebody that could be brutally honest, blunt, someone that says what they mean and means what they say. Okay? But, of course, anybody that's maybe too sensitive to the truth, you know, like people that like to be, like to hear sugarcoating, you know, you know when you give someone a compliment, but... Or they ask you, how do I look? And you want to tell them the truth, but you don't. You know, and, and but they like that kind of stuff. You're you're not this way. You would tell them straight up. Because you don't want them walking out there looking foolish. If you feel that they don't look right in what they're wearing, right? That's just an example. And maybe they get a little triggered by that. Well, at least you're honest. So you're actually a reliable kind of person, right? Someone that people can trust, but maybe it's too, some people are maybe a little too thin-skinned to handle your type of uh, personality, your type of... It, it, it's bittersweet with some people. You know, unfortunately, there's people out there that they just like sugar-coated shit, but to me... To me, I, I'm, I can understand this energy because I feel like it's better to speak your truth, you know, than sugarcoat someone with a lie, regardless of what it is. Now, there's instances and, and moments where I'm sure that you have to be a little more sensitive, a little more agile, okay? And I'm sure you do that. But, you know, maybe some, some of you cut some people out and they're feeling a little butthurt by it because they don't understand what they weren't bringing to the table or maybe the way they were acting because they, did, they weren't seeing their own behavior. So that's for some of you. And for some of you, you didn't even have to say anything. You just a clean cut. Cut them out of your life. So for some of you, it's not even because you said anything. It's just the way you handled the situation that wasn't good for you. You just simply walked away and trust me that's probably better because <laughs> they don't want to hear what you had to say about what they caused in your life or did in your life it's better sometimes to just be the bigger person walk away and hey they're feeling butthurt about it they need to get go within and see why that happened okay you know that's just how it is we have Jonathan Van Ness a little beard pomade will take you to the next level. This sofa has lived its best life, <laughs> but now it's got to go. There is no such thing as too much of your beautiful face. Any. Yeah, I'm seeing this lotus flower behind him. Okay. It's like some of you just kind of had a glow up here. You picked up your life. Okay, maybe you... Maybe you weren't all well put together in the past or something like that. I'm still getting like people from the past are still looking at you like, what is this change? What have they done to themselves? Like, who is this person? Why didn't I see this person in this light before? Then it's because you got right within, right? You awakened something within yourself. So maybe now you're starting to take more selfies because you're feeling more confident or you're just really looking good. So whenever you post a picture, it shows, okay? That's what I'm seeing. So, you know, maybe some of you didn't shave before, now you do. <laughs> Something like that, okay? It doesn't have to be that specifically. 
So bottom of the deck, we have she or he who emerges. Enlightenment. Yeah, mindfulness. And rise up. Arise up. Mm -hmm. So you have awakened. You have risen. Okay? You were asleep before. And now you are awakened. You are more mindful. You are more aware of your surroundings people places things enemies frenemies family places that you go you're more connected to earth the world to a higher vibration frequency energy you're understanding many truths things are constantly being revealed to you you're looking at life with your third eye a new set of eyes okay definitely here or you're starting to yeah, there's somebody looking at you. Somebody here wanting to court you. So, like I said, you have, like, old acquaintances, friendships, that feeling kind of, you know, some of them were cut out, some of them are still watching, but they're not really saying much. And then you have new people here, people wanting to court you, that are analyzing you. Yeah, they see you as mature, as some of you could look damn good for your age, whether you're male or female. Um, they see you as wise okay and you call it like you see it kind of energy somebody's liking that because they want to court you so you're right up somebody's alley here or you know somebody's into you they see you as someone that you know for the gentleman they see you as someone that would like to be courted by you okay and we have Plato here at at the touch of a lover, everyone becomes a poet. Mm. Love is simply the name for the desire and pursuit of the whole. The madness of love is the greatest of heaven's blessings. Wow. At the touch of a lover, everyone becomes a poet. So you have touched somebody's heart strings with the way you express yourself and who you are. So love is simply the name. So there is a desire in someone that wants to pursue you in its entirety or wants to be pursued, per, per, pursued, is that the right word? By you. Pursued by you. I don't know why I said that. Like that way, but anyways, you know what I mean. So the madness of love is the greatest of heaven's blessings. Wow. The madness of love. So your energy also may... Those of you... For those that come across you and see you in this light, in a potential lover, future partner, they get fixated. Fixated and perhaps maybe even a little obsessed. The madness of love. Is the greatest of heaven's blessings it's like you're like a drug okay so you become a drug for somebody here somebody feels there they could just really fall in love with you or they are falling in love here okay so could be more than one could be one in specific so let's see what else is going on here All right, what else are people seeing here when it comes to you? Oh, before I go there. Before I let go. Let's get three of these. Let's see what else they're seeing here. Earth and unassuming. Indigo child. It is your mission to access higher wisdom, knowledge, and intelligence so that you can bring it back down to the planet Earth. So there you go. You definitely three cards of awakening and speaking your truth because you are a chosen. You are a starseed, an indigo child. Okay, and you are determined 
to be in your purpose and to spread your light, your word, your wisdom, what you have awakened to. Okay? So you have come to a realization within yourself and what's around you and your divinity here. You understand your purpose now. Or this is what's coming into play for you at this time. Old soul, you have been around many lifetimes and have chosen to be reborn to evolve and carry on your learning journey from where you left where you left it in your previous life so you are an old soul so you know you're a no bullshit kind of person okay so awakening to where you left off okay your last lifetime and gaining even more knowledge and awakening to your you know your divinity and becoming closer to oneness right to christ consciousness here you know, you don't have time for chit-chatters and, fr and you know, cheap frills and thrills, okay? Now that you're at this point in your life, whether you did that while you were younger, you know, it's a matter of a process of elimination of things and a process of learning and growing that was all relevant. The You know, the law of relativity. Everything, good and bad, was relevant to where you're standing at this very moment because it is a learning curve. Everything is a learning curve. So... So people could feel very deeply connected to you. They could wonder, like, where do you get all this information? Like, how do you even go about, like, you know, maybe they see you as somebody that highly educates yourself, is always reading or something like that. But, you know, for those that aren't awakened, they don't understand that, you know, sometimes you get downloads. You get, not sometimes, when you are awakened, you get information that just seeps in. You're like a sponge, right? It seeps into you. And because you are meant to bring this knowledge to this planet, meaning you have hidden knowledge, you have that high priestess vibe where, you know, you're standing in front of that veil that, that you know, where you can go in and get all types of information because you have the key, you have the access, the key to access that information. It has been given to you. It is your birthright because you are a light worker, a light bringer. Okay? Mind power. You're a higher level soul with a mission to create transformation in people's mind so their emotions can come into balance. Wow. So there you go. See that third eye with that flower? Your, your, your third eye is definitely wide open and you are here to expand, to help expand the consciousness of humanity and right on time and right on target because that is the, what's happening on the earth shifting from 3D to 5D is going to help those that are meant to evolve or at least learn even more get into a, that higher state of consciousness. So that's why you are given the wit, the wisdom, and the power to speak it because you've been doing a lot of inner work. You've been awakening to who you really are. So you got people a little confused that used to know you because they never seen this side of yourself because you never seen it within yourself. You're, you're seeing it now, okay? Um, but of course, there's always telltale signs. There was always things that you could have kept to yourself. You were always someone that was curious about the deeper meaning in life. This is not like you just went along blindly and all of a sudden you woke up one day and you're you know, heavy into spirituality. I feel like this is someone that has always been intrigued by what lies beneath. Um, you know, that kind of mystic energy, wanting to know the deeper meaning of life, the deeper meaning of things, love, hate, you know. Um, you've been definitely someone that could have been quiet but you saw everything. You you analyzed everything. You you look like someone what I'm getting here is you look like someone that would be a um observer of things and experiences. And definitely you could have been through a lot, absolutely. It was meant to it was relevant, right? Relativity. It was meant to teach you and to awaken you. Because you had to be right here where you're at right now. 
So your higher level soul with a mission to create transformation. And when you create transformation, it triggers people. Because remember, you have to break through that conditioning that a lot of people have and that um, mindset that they have been, you know, you know, conditioned um, through family, through society, you know, and you had to see that within yourself as well. But you, it was all, it was lying dormant for you, okay? You, you were meant to lead, okay? Now you see the truth. Beautiful, yeah, star seed. You are a traveling soul from another planet who incarnated on Earth to inspire and heal human beings and to participate in the planet's evolution. Can't make this shit up. What did I say? The, the Earth is evolving. So all the light workers are needed now because that is exactly what we're meant to be in the forefront to help people understand the transition that's happening. And I will be getting into a reading here. I'm just trying to prepare myself mentally for this reading that I wanted to do about this very thing. Okay? That has to do with the planet, the world, and what's happening. Okay? And definitely chaos does not come. I mean, order does not come without chaos here. And uh, this is what a lot of you are meant to do here. And it's assisting in the shift in, in the way you can. And that's by, you know... They say, they say this hasn't happened anywhere in the universe before, but I think it's pretty impossible to know that um, because the universe is so vast. Um, and you're a cosmic being, so you've been around the universe to other planets. You're an old soul. So the information you've gathered through lifetimes in different planes of the universe, okay, as, as crazy as that might sound, you know, it's a matter of perspective, right? Understanding that there are expansive truths that go beyond what you can see, what you can hear, what you can touch, you know, right? Everything is compartmentalized, compartmentalized till you open the door and keep opening the door and keep opening the door and so you see further and further and further and further and there's there more truth and more truth and more truth and more truth there's never a set truth there's never a box of truth and all other truth do not exist it's never that it's a matter of discovery it's a matter of tapping in it's a matter of being open to receiving that information and it's a matter of experience because not everybody's a cosmic being. Some of, some people are young souls. They have a lot to learn. So they'll have many, 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 many more reincarnations um, to come before they can even get to this level. Okay? Some people were just born on this earth. They're not cosmic. They haven't been in other planets because they're a young soul. All right? But there are some ancient souls out there. You're definitely one of them. This goes beyond this earth. Okay? But you've been around this earth a few times as well because there was a lot for you to learn here. And God placed you here strategically for this very moment that's happening on earth. All light workers here. Okay? Whew. All right, let's continue. So let's see. So people are, obviously, people don't understand this. This is what you're here to do. But they're very curious about what you have to say. Because you're bringing something new to the table. You're bringing a new experience consciously to the table. You're speaking about things that you're, as you learn and as you go, that people are not used to. Because they've been wearing a veil. They've been asleep. Why? Because they've been conditioned. And they have limited belief systems passed down through their family. And they don't know anything else because they were never shown anything else. They also were never shown how to go within. And that's exactly what you're here to do. Of course, not everybody's going there this lifetime. But those who are, this is exactly why you're here. Okay? So a lot of people are not going to understand you. They might call you crazy. <laughs> they might say you're insane. Some might, might think you're an alien or the devil or an angel. <laughs> Some of them just don't know exactly where to put you. <laughs> So you got all kinds of people looking at you. So let's see what else here. How else are they viewing you here, collective? The 
Queen of Swords. <laughs> of course. Okay, someone that's here to bring truth, balance, and healing. The heart space. We saw that, right? You are here, definitely. In order, in order for someone to expand their consciousness, they also have to go through their traumas and heal their heart. Which is a hard thing for people to do and go through their own shadow. Which is a hard thing for people to get comfortable with and um, be real with themselves about. Okay? So definitely you will trigger a lot of people <laughs> that aren't willing to go through this uh, change. Okay? But you, you stand in your truth, you speak your truth. And you make no qualms about it. Because that's the way you, you, you were built to be. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. I feel like as, as far as work, they some of you could already be like leading or be some sort of motivational speaker or you have like your own platform or this is what you're working on building. And it's like, where do they get this information? Because you're an old soul here. Some co-workers, people that work with you might see you as kind of cold. But I feel like you're just, you were always very much to yourself. And you, you have, you know, you're, you're kind of taking the world in as you go. Okay? A lot of you have been through a lot. So you could have created this, you know, poker face. You don't show a lot of emotion because you don't trust a lot of people. Okay? You're here to do a job. You're not here to be liked is why I'm getting here. And the sun, enlightenment, mind power. You also bring joy and happiness, okay? But there you go. And definitely people have seen that you have had some sort of glow up. You're more happy. You're more radiant. You're exuding this light, this wisdom. And they're like, what the hell? Because you've been doing a lot of inner work. All right? You've healed. You've been healing your inner child. Yeah, Ace of Cups. What I say? You also teach people how to heal their heart. You have a lot of self-love. Okay? You're not as cold as people might think. You're actually quite healing, nurturing, loving, and compassionate. But you have a hard shell. Okay? And then that's, that's through the experiences you have been through in life. But you know when to open up to the right person. Okay? You are in balance with your mind and your heart. Because of your awakening and your your you allowing, being open-minded enough to allow your consciousness to evolve and be receptive to what you can't see, to a higher power. Okay? You got a lot of love to give. Yeah, Six of Swords. Alright, some of you moved on from careers that just weren't doing it for you. Because you're, you are meant to. This is the Spirit guiding you through intuition, through your heart space, to heal, to the sun, taking you to what is essentially the promised land. The five, the earth shifting if the 5D is the promised land for a lot of you. Okay, because it requires also that evolved mindset to the shift that's happening right now. And I'm going to go into that type of reading later, okay, I'm not going to get into that. But whew, so much is going on right now that a lot of people are just clueless to. Absolutely clueless to. But you got the tea. You got the real tea. Okay? You you got the key to the major tea. <laughs> I mean, there's many layers to that tea, but you, you, you there. You're in there. And you continue to follow your intuition. And the, and, and, and the light that is guiding you. Okay? Spirit. And you're just, you're really taking it in. Page of Wands, yeah. You have a very creative um, inner, you are very creative. Your inner child, you have been healing that. Okay? And you're trying to teach others how to grow, how to heal that part of themselves. You definitely... People see you as somebody fun, somebody creative, somebody in touch with your inner child. They could see you as charismatic, as flirty, happy, just happy to be around. 
okay? See, you, you're not just all cold, but this is for people that, like, they never really got to know you because they were too triggered by you to understand this side of you. You're loving, compassionate, playful, happy, balanced, and very creative. You just, you get out of people's way that are not for you and you understand when you have to keep it pushing okay that's what I'm getting yeah seven of Pentacles here with the three of cups some of you have you know had great times and you know you've had um, interesting moments in your life I can see that page of Pentacles where you had to learn things but you see how they're planting this tree and it's growing and she's all happy here, she or he. Yeah, some of you, you know, you were living life in the fast lane here. You know, for a long time for some of you, but it's not for you anymore. You grew. Yeah, you walked away, eight of cups. To get right with yourself, to go through this enlightenment. Look at all these books. Okay. So you did a 180 here. Yeah, reciprocity, giving and receiving with spirit also with others. Some of you are um, got into also like, um, it says love more here. Some of you got involved with like charitable events here. Yeah, you were determined to move forward. Two of Wands, King of Wands with the Chariot. Okay, and created some sort of distance here to get into it from toxicity from the devil. Yeah. Yeah, you took a leap of faith. Queen of Wands. So you're very much in balance, very attractive here. Okay. Um, you could be alpha female or alpha male here. Somebody, I'm hearing non binary too. Somebody that doesn't quite, for me, what I'm getting with that. Is somebody who doesn't quite just resonate with their female, feminine side of themselves. You also resonate with your masculine side. And that has to do with your mind and your heart being in balance. Is what I'm getting here. You're not sexist either. You're not here to judge anybody for who they are and what they like. Because you're very connected to both your masculine and your feminine. Okay? So people could see you as masculine or feminine. Okay, you could be quite intimidating here also because you're in your power and you could basically, you you could just get along and spark a, a pretty deep conversation with, you know, anyone of course that's willing to, to um, have that kind of conversation with you. Definitely won't be the chit chatters or the haters. You can't have those conversations with those people because they're too busy <laughs> judging and projecting. <laughs> But you you know what I'm saying. Okay, let's see what else here. They see you as someone very playful. I'm getting charismatic. You can be very in touch with your inner child is what I'm getting here. You put a smile on a lot of people's face, okay? So, I wouldn't worry about the haters. Allow yourself to connect with what you are passionate about. And there you go. And you are passionate about love and consciousness. So, you're definitely someone that can be sapio and demisexual. You need to be mentally stimulated, 34, 34 on the clock. Somebody that goes toe-to-toe -to -toe with you. That's seven seven, and and um, both in mind and in spirit and in heart is what I'm getting here. So you're somebody that requires a high level soulmate or twin here, someone on a high vibration as you. So you can't just date anybody. This is not maybe before before this awakening, not now. Okay, uh, not with this mission you have. You need another light worker, star seed you know somebody on that level and that's what you want allow yourself to connect with what you are passionate about 
and you're passionate about what you know and what you're learning and what you are expressing and it comes from the heart and it comes from a higher realm listen to your inner compass <laughs> with the six of swords and you did some of you did when it comes to career you took a leap of faith and you listened to your inner compass I said, you listen to your intuition, you listen to your heart, and spirit moved you forward here. From something you were working on or doing here, or a workplace, where there could have been a lot of haters here. You know, it was a dead end, and it was time to move forward. And a lot of people don't know how to take that leap of faith. They get too afraid, because they don't know what's on the other side. You did it. Or you're going to do it. Okay? From what I see here. And people admire this too. It's like, call me crazy or call me um, ice cold. I have to do what I have to do for me. So you move forward and you cut something out. Or a lot of things out. When in doubt, ask for guidance. Yeah, you're an open book for people. So if people need guidance, they know they can come to you with the sun and the page of wands okay and when you're in doubt you ask for guidance from the from God a higher source and when you feel something is off you look at your inner child and or your inner self and you ask yourself why is this coming up why is this here because you are about evol evolution here so you never stop learning and growing I mean we never do but for you especially because you know that you have a mission here your spirit sparkles when you connect with what you love look at that it's like you come alive people see you as it, it's you have this magnetism and that's definitely part of awakening as well and, and healing your heart and opening your conscious mind some of you are already there in Christ consciousness here I see that or you're working towards that and you just sparkle. Look at that. Make the choice that empowers you. Yeah. Completely awaken. What you do inspires you. You love it. It brings you life, joy, happiness. It allows you to be creative. It keeps you on a quest, on a voyage. And, you know, you're just passing through because you understand there's the only thing that is consistent in this life is change and you understand that everything is relative everything is an experience and it's here for your own growth you've done this for many lifetimes you're a cosmic being you've done this for <laughs> I mean since since your existence okay which is uh, goes way back <laughs> for who I'm tapping into yeah in any lifetime you come to be come about and awaken this within you you continue to learn and you're going to continue to choose what empowers you because that is just who you are follow your dreams and help will find you in unforeseen ways so spirit will align who they need to um they will align you with who they need to align you with depending on what you are going through need or you know so you will experience blessings you will experience people here that help you move forward in whatever area of course you will also experience those who try to set you back but you understand that there's always like something to see there something to intuit there something to learn there and cutting those people out of course sooner rather than later so they don't create more drama and more chaos into your life you're getting to that point where you can see it for what it is so you don't hang there very long if at all okay yeah ask your dreams a question when you need an answer okay some of you get a lot of downloads a lot of insight through the dream state some of you are prophets okay very connected to the most high you work for the most high the sun is God Ra that's you you work for the most high you follow your intuition and you do what you love creatively 
you are a co-creator with Ra in the universe. Okay? You work in correlation with the, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit here. That's what I'm seeing here. Okay, how else are people viewing you here, Collected? This is, uh, yeah, look, flirty and char charismatic. That's what I get with the sun and the page of wands. Let's see what else people are seeing here. You're loving. People see you as loving. Okay. We got two here. Mysterious. So you do have an air of mystery. Captivating. You have angel eyes. So people are captivated when they look into your eyes. That's how they know that you are loving, yet mysterious. It's almost like they can't make out who you, what, what you are, who you are. They know that there's something different. You're a cosmic being, so it's in. It, you could see it in your eyes. They don't understand it, but they can see that there's something very different. Whoa, that's too many. Let's let's put this all back. Spirit, anything else here? There we go. Wise beyond your years. That's that old soul. And pure and honest. See, so a lot of people see your pure heart intentions. Okay. The sun, the ace of cups, that's your heart. In your eyes. Your eyes tell a story. Anything else here, Spirit? <laughs> they don't know what to make of you. Some people just don't know what to make of you. And I feel like some people can't stop thinking about you here, too. Like, you you live rent-free in, in some people's minds. They don't understand why. And it's because they haven't figured you out. For some. And it doesn't even have to be a love interest. People just constantly find themselves thinking about you for some reason. They're trying to understand you. But they won't. <laughs> Not everybody will. Whoa. Yeah, there's a level of classy and sophisticated there. Okay, so they see that within you as well. You could be someone that could dress it up and dress it down. Hold on a second while I pick this one up. Yeah, are you an angel? So they can't, they don't know what to make of you. Are you an angel? Angel eyes, loving, wise beyond your years, classy and sophisticated, pure and honest, mysterious. Are you an angel? Send me an angel. Send me an angel right now, right now, 
Send me an angel, send me an angel, right now. So somebody feels like God sent them an angel. That's that courting man. Or there's somebody here for the gentleman that they want to be courted by you and they see you as an angel. Okay, and they find you incredibly handsome. And you are also down to earth. Like I said, you could dress it up and dress it down. Classy and sophisticated. You are God's angel. You are definitely otherworldly here. I'm getting that song. You're so hypnotizing. Could you be an angel? Could you be the devil? <laughs> You're from a whole nother world, a different dimension. You open my eyes. Yep. Influential. Amuse. And quite sexy. Wow. One more? Whoa, that is way too much. <laughs> Apparently there's a lot more, but uh, I'm just going to get one more. So some people, they you know, like I said earlier, they're like an angel or a devil. Because <laughs> you're, you're tapped in to both your, your shadow and your light. You can be the devil. You can be an angel. <laughs> hey. We got both sides. All the gods and goddesses also have both sides. Okay. We ain't just pure out here. But you're in balance with it. One more spirit. One more. Let me put this here. Drag me now. Okay, we got two more. Compassionate. There you go. You are highly compassionate. See, you're not as cold as some, some people might um, want other people to view you as, is what I'm getting there. And those are the haters, the people that like to project. You're, you're, you're... This is like, if you're making a pot of something, like, this is it. Like, you are a perfect blend of a lot of things. Of course, no one is perfect, okay? But you are, you you have all the right ingredients here. Especially when you add it with balance, okay, which you have between your mind and your heart. You're fair and just, okay? Some people may not see it that way because they're not understanding that darkness also is part of the journey okay and we are imperfect creatures a force to be reckoned with so there you go you're highly compassionate compassionate but you're also a force to be reckoned with that's where the mysterious comes in as well a lot of people could be very intimidated because they don't understand how to go about this energy Okay, so they may talk, but they'll talk behind your back because they see you as someone quite strong. Okay, and your energy pretty much speaks for itself. You have a poker face, you have very intense eyes, you could have loving eyes, or you can show them the force to be reckoned with with the same, those same angel eyes. Okay, God built you that way. Work it. <laughs> okay. And let's see for this courting man here that's looking at you here. What's going on there? Or, you know, however many there are. How is that person viewing you here? I mean, clearly they may be viewing you in this way. so 
hypnotizing. So you're hypnotizing too. Some of you have those pretty brown eyes, you know. I see them. It's a disguise the way you treat me. Some of you got those deep brown eyes. A bit of a wall up. Yeah. Because you, you've learned to set boundaries with people. Okay? That doesn't mean that you wouldn't be compassionate and loving and open to the right people in your life. But you set boundaries because you know that if you don't, people are not going to set them for you. They'll overstep them. Okay? So they do see that. And that also adds to your mystery and your intimidate, you know, this energy of intimidating. You don't mean to be intimidating. It's just the energy. You have a protective shield. I see you as someone I can build with. Okay? So somebody here is looking at you with loving eyes. I'm also hearing Spanish eyes. Are you my soulmate? Because it's deja vu when I saw you. Okay, some of you may have a soul here, a soulmate. Okay, it says allow yourself to connect with what you are passionate about. You're passionate about love. I feel like you're looking for a spiritual love, someone that you're meant to be with. Okay, and meant to take this journey with you of empowerment, of enlightenment, of creativity. Okay, you know, the path of the Most High. That leads you into your promise, promised land, your heaven on earth. And somebody's feeling like, you know, they may have a, a deep soul connection with you. Now, we did see that card of obsession here. The madness of love is the greatest of heaven's blessings. Okay? I'm also getting you could bring people closer to God. They may feel like being with you brings them closer to God because you are... A light being, you're a light worker, you're a chosen person, that's for sure, there's chosen one. And you have angel energy. Okay, so some people may be obsessed with you, think they have a soul connection to you, and don't. But I, I do feel like there is a soulmate here. Yeah, we have chivalrous. So this person is witty, so they match your wit, I feel here. And you make a man or woman do a double take. What else? So you are an ET because you are a cosmic being. I would love to romance you. Yeah. And you see how you're both wearing like um, space suits? I feel like you're meeting someone that is definitely from outer space to find another race. <laughs> Yeah, somebody like you. Oh, what's that song? Someone like you. True love, you're the one I dream of. Da da da, da da da, da 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 da. True blue, baby, I love you. I said. True love, oh baby, true love, oh baby, true love, oh baby, true love. Madonna. Yeah, weren't they like mermaids in, in that uh, video? Mm -hmm. You look like someone I can bring home to mama. There it is. And one more here. Everything about you draws me in. There you go. Yeah, you got somebody stressing over you here. This is this person, whoever, or these people here. They can't, they don't know what to make of you. <laughs> They're both like, what the fuck, WTF? <laughs> All in their head about you here. Somebody with gray eyes here. <laughs> Stressing over you. They're a true gentleman. Uh, they want you to flirt with them more. Okay. Please flirt with me more. Sarcastic. They love your sarcasm. They can't get you out of their mind. So this is someone you could have met before here. You got to tell you. You got a few here. Can't get you out of their head. Yeah, when I saw you, I knew God 
answered my prayers. Wow. I'm a one-woman kind of man. No games here. Or one-man kind of woman. Okay. Yeah, you got some online crushes here. You got people stressing. This person could be an open book or they see you as an open book. Okay, because you are speaking your truth here. Somebody here could be short. We have average height. And you got me fiending for you. I know you want me. <laughs> okay, we got a cocky one here. Yeah, we also got, you know, maybe some players looking at you. One sexy man or woman. I know you want me. You know, somebody in their ego thinking that you're all you're all about them when you're probably not. You will meet someone while you're out dancing. Okay, some of you, when you go out, you know, dancing, or whether this is like a birthday party, a wedding, or an actual club, um, you know, you grab people's attention here. You may be asked to dance quite a bit. Uh, you could be a fitness nut, or this is a, you know... I feel like there's somebody here that thinks you want them and they're a little bit like cocky here they may work out they may like think they're all that okay so you got a few people here let's build something together okay with high vibration I feel like that's your mindset here and somebody's curious about you yeah definitely yeah we have new person so there is a new person here. Maybe they want to build something with you here. Their high vibration. And I want to know what it feels like to be around your energy. Yeah, this new person that wants to court you or wants to be courted by you. Okay? Yeah, you have people that are kind of like religious here. And they're like, why couldn't I meet you sooner? So this could be people that marry because of, you know... their traditional values I'll just say that and uh, they could be a giver here you, you're opening people's eyes here is what I'm feeling so you got people in relationships looking at you that are in connections that perhaps are meant to have an expiration date um, because you know there people get together for many reasons and not all of them are for true love unfortunately and then they end up you know in situations where the love is gone and they feel stuck and they they're living like an oppressed life and they feel like they're living a lie but because of their belief systems or you know traditional values they stick through them and you know their whole life is pretty much a lie after that you know some people do go through that and uh, because they believe that once you get married that's it uh, God didn't put that together okay they did and maybe their families um, that's not how God sees love okay you, you are the embodiment of love with compassion in here your heart is open and you're here to show people this very thing as well not just um, awakening their consciousness because their healing their awakening all of that raises their vibration in turn invites a higher vibrational love in their life okay so it's all a process but it's also a process of elimination and that's where people get triggered and they put pump the brakes and they have to go through like an ego death because their ego wants to hang on to a part of them that they that has already been constructed, molded, and shaped. And uh, you're here to break the mold, basically. You are the muse. All right, guys, that's what I have for you. Very interesting reading. I like it. Let me know in the comments if anybody resonates with that. Okay. And I wish you guys the best. Somebody here definitely uh, feels like a, they have a soul connection to you. Um, are they going to do something about it? Let's just see. You know. Yeah, we have an emperor here with the tower. Okay, so this might come as a shocker. So God might be shaking things up a bit. Oh, the devil's trying to destroy this. I saw the devil here. Yep, devil's trying to block this. Seven of Wands from coming together. You know, the devil also has a job, right? They, he can't stand this um, transition that God has planned here. 
That's why a lot of spiritual warfare is out there too. You know, angels and demons. We ain't talking about that here. Let's talk about this um, new love. Are they going to do something about it? Five of Wands. Whew. I heard they got to beat out the competition. Yeah. You got choices and decisions here. And we did see that already. We have communication. Okay, so expect a lot of communications. Uh, some of you walking away, though. You ain't trying to hear no drama. Okay, so if anybody comes to you with any chaos drama, you're out of there. I'm not trying to hear that, see. What you man gotta do with me? Yeah, that's that egotistical person. Yeah, you're about balance, taking the middle road, and being patient for the right one. You're not trying to, you know, mess with these people. Exactly. The one. <laughs> Come on, baby, light my fire. Doom, 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 doom. Yeah, there's somebody coming here. Ooh. There it is. Ace of Pentacles with the tower. Somebody about to shock your ass. I mean, not literally, but... <laughs> yeah. I'm seeing that you turn somebody on, too. So this person is... Yeah. Somebody's coming through. King of Swords. Okay, that's that witty person. I see it right here. Okay? So I see you as someone I can build with. So this match in your energy... King to the King of Swords to the Queen of Swords. Okay? So this person is going to shock you with some sort of offer here. This one's beating out this competition. What else here? Oh. Two of Swords? Yeah. <laughs> Somebody coming in here like, yeah, with a limited mindset thinking they can... Um, Come have sex with you. Somebody's going to try to charm you. That's that egotistical person that we saw there. That maybe you met while dancing or you will somewhere. Yeah. Ne next. Yeah, this could be a beggar. Okay, no reciprocity there. Uh -uh. What else here? There, this is definitely a lot of them because we have five of wands here. Different people here. Okay, we got the knight of cups. Seven of Pentacles, yeah, this is somebody that wants to court you here. Okay, they've been wanting to court you for a long time, I feel here. Yeah, you got you got options, man. Seven of Cups. Okay, we got the, uh... <laughs> the one that's bringing in, like, the big guns is this King of Swords with the Ace of Pentacles in the tower. Like, he's... This is like, okay, I know a lot of people are wanting to talk to this person, or I know this person must be, like, sought after a lot, or something like that. At least that's what they're thinking. So they got to come in correct. That's what I see here. And you got some knights here, but eh, you know. What else here? Yeah, two of wands. <laughs> Which way do I go towards... Wish fulfillment, nine of cups. That's the way you're going. Yeah, we got a page of cups. Okay, a message that changes the game. Huh, what is this? That's what I heard. Yeah, <laughs> they got to get through your wall. A bit of a wall up. You don't want no crumbs, okay? Somebody coming to you with a little page of pentacles? Next. You, you step into the empress as a page? No. And you, you might question this knight as well because, okay, you're here and what? Definitely you're not going for that one. You're blocking that out of sight, out of mind. You want the offer from someone that is matching your energy. Okay, for, so for a lot of you, this would be the sapiosexual part where you have the king and queen of swords. Someone that matches that um, mentality of yours, okay? That high vibrational energy is what I'm getting there. Okay. 
But what I feel you're really looking for, yeah, Ten of Cups is your Emperor. So you'll analyze the King of Swords a little bit. You'll entertain it. Six of Cups, here's the soulmate watching. Secretly. So there's somebody secretly watching you that feels like they have a soul connection to you. Okay, they see you as the High Priestess. Okay. This could also be someone from your past or people from your past watching how you have changed so much because we do see that energy here. There's a lot of energy here. Yeah, the sun. You bring somebody a smile to their face. Who is this soulmate here? Six of Wands. This could be someone in the public eye with the sun and the Six of Wands. Yeah, they really like your... Yeah, they want to take a leap of faith. The Queen of Swords. They really... Um, yeah. Wow, they see you as the Magician with the Queen of Swords. Is it King of Wands? Definitely somebody in a public eye. We have the Moon with the Six of Pentacles. Huh. What is this? Yeah, this is somebody that's enlightened. Wow. Or they see you as enlightened with the High Priestess and the Son and the Hermit. No, this is the King of Pentacles. Okay, so the King of Swords, yeah, with the Strength card. Okay, let's take a look at this King of Swords with this Ace of Pentacles. Somebody here is pretty wise. And let's take a look at this King of Pentacles with this Hermit, the Sun, and the High Priestess. I feel like you don't know who this is watching. This is a soulmate, I feel, here. Okay, tell me more about this King of Pentacles. Okay. They're at a distance from you, so this could be someone that maybe is coming in a distant horizon, or they live far, far from you person has been disappointed in love about something um, five of swords okay so this one went through something what else here what do they want with the collective what do they want with the collective okay they want communication or a quick trip oh look at that the hierophant Taurus vibes, definitely. Leo vibes here, too. Yeah, they see you as a wife. They see you as someone they can be with long term. They have anxiety over reaching out, though. Wow. So, this person may want to come see you, like a quick trip, get to know you. Maybe they'll bring you a business proposition. This is a marriage here, okay? This is a power couple, too. King and Queen of Pentacles with the Strength card. This is a long for the long haul, long term. So then who's this King of Swords here? Maybe use a different deck here. This is the person in their head. This could be the person that can't, they don't know what to make of you. Okay, you got two contenders here. What else? Yeah, I keep getting the tower. It's like you blow somebody's mind or something here. They don't know what to make of you. Yeah, you blew somebody's mind here. The hangman. This is the person stressing over you. Queen of Wands, they see you as highly attractive here. See you as a leader. Someone that goes after what you want. Okay, this could be the person that's obsessed. Okay. Highly obsessed with you, yeah. You're single, wise, and independent, and uh, you could spend a lot of time, you know, healing. Yeah, you're enlightened. So, yeah, somebody's attracted to your energy here. So, you got somebody that's kind of a little obsessed, but they do match your energy here and this person could be the one saying could you be the an angel could you be the devil 
because they're so um, taken back by you. You like constantly blowing this person's mind, though. That's why they can't. They don't know what to make of you. What else here? Yeah, Ace of Wands. Oh, this person's feeling quite passionate here. Yeah, they want to give and receive some passion here with you. Hmm. I feel like this person would like to knock you up. Yeah, High Priestess. This person self-pleasures in your name, definitely. What else here? <laughs> you got a lot of energy here. The Magician and the Ten of Swords. So, so this could have been someone that betrayed you before. Yeah. And that's the person that could see you as cold now. Okay. Yeah. They're stressing over you. Because I feel like they fell for you, yet they betrayed you at the same time. They could be getting karma, too, for that. Okay. So they, they met their match here. Okay. So this is somebody you cut out. And they're stressing over you. You reflected back the energy that they were giving to you. But in a way that was like. Severing ties. So they could have played some games here with you. With the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Swords. And the tower came in. And you moved forward. When you left. Shit hit the fan for this person. They didn't know what to do with themselves. And they were stressing because all they could do is think of you. Yeah, this person is manipulative, whoever this is. Yeah, you, you could have worked with this person. This could have also been a boss, but I feel like this person was obsessed. Yeah, you've worked somewhere for quite a while here in the past. Yeah, you went through a change in transformation. So whatever happened there... And there you go. There's the Ten of Cups with the Emperor. And the Ace of Cups. Okay, tell me about this uh, King of Pentacles then. Alright, at least we got one thing cleared up there. Seven of Swords. What's going on there? King of Cups. Okay, this person could be the type that kind of self-sabotages, okay? So they could be the ones with the wall up. Yeah, they're the wounded healer, wounded warrior here. So they're trying to gain the strength and confidence here to come to you, this King of Pentacles or Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Eight of Wands, Two of Wands, they're at the crossroads. They really do like you. You bring them happiness, joy, and they you see you as wish fulfillment. I do feel like some of you, this person is in the public eye, or they're just healing. They are single. Or they see you as single. Yeah, the world, this is something new. Definitely the world, six of wands, king of wands with the, what else did we see there? The sun? Yeah. Somebody definitely, this could be somebody in the public eye there. You're a high priestess, this is a hierophant. Definitely leadership energy here. Uh, this person, you could be the muse for this person. Maybe this person is someone that you're at this time influencing in a positive way. And you may not even know it as well okay well guys I'm gonna leave it there if not we'll be here forever <laughs> there's way too much energy here I just know that you're not gonna entertain these nights okay you know what you want and you're definitely not entertaining whoever's over here like somebody feels blocked also you could have blocked somebody because they're a breadcrumber that could be that king of swords Well then, whew, collective. A lot going on behind the scenes you may not know about, but that's because you're so focused. So remain focused. The right things will show up. And if they're the wrong things, you'll know exactly what to do with that sword of yours. You have it handy just in case. Okay. I wish you guys the best. Um, thank you so much for watching. And I will see you next time. Okay, peace.